Today we will be looking at the seventh principle of animation, ARC, so stay tuned. Hey guys, my name is Ion and welcome to my Start Animating YouTube channel, the channel that is specifically aimed at everyone that is new to animation, that is just starting out. And if that is you, well, you are at the right place. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and also click on that little notification bell so that you can get notified every week when I upload a new video. And again, if you are new to animation or you want to start animating but you have no idea where to start, where to begin, well, I've got some great great news I've got a free video training that you can take you can just click in the link in the description box below and in this training video um, you will work alongside with me and the great thing is by the end of the video you would have created your very first animation and even if you don't know anything about animation even if you've never animated before and even if you don't even have animation software or money to spend on software right at the moment it doesn't matter you can go and you can take this free um, free video training and by the end of the video you would have created your very first animation and you will have the basic knowledge of animation that you can then go and implement and start creating your very own animations so if you want to take that free video training make sure you click in the link on the link in the description box below and uh, I can't wait to see you there so today we are going to look at the seventh principle of animation and that is arc. Now just to give you guys a quick summary of what it is, of a quick description, basically it is just that you never want your animations to um, to operate in a linear motion meaning that for instance if I give you guys a quick example if I want to move my head normally you don't move your head like that um, it will have an arc. There's always always implement an arc in your movement. So for instance, what I want to do to create that cartoon effect is I'm going to create an arc like that. So instead of moving my head like this, I will move my head like that. So as you can see, my head moves in an arc movement. Um, so that is basically just a quick a quick summary of what the arc principle is and to always try and incorporate this into your animations so that your animations doesn't look so linear so static um, it really makes a massive massive difference now let me quickly explain to you guys um, with two examples how you can implement um, the arc principle so in front of me here you will see I've just have a normal um, ball so if I click there there I've got a um, the movement of how of the path that my uh, ball will move so you can see it is pretty linear now if I press play that is not how a ball bounces it doesn't bounce like in a triangle so it doesn't look natural so what you want to do is let me go back and let me open up now here you can see I've got a second ball and it has an arc okay so you can see it has a round movement so if I'm going to press play now you see that looks much better um, because that is how a ball bounces it has an arc it doesn't bounce like a triangle it has an arc to it and then if I compare the two bouncing balls now you will see the one just looks so much more natural okay uh, so let's just uh, visible and let's just move that to the beginning there you go now we can compare the two and you can see the one looks so much natural when it bounces because it has an arc um, it doesn't move in a linear way so that is the first um, way I can summarize or show you how the arc principle works now um, in the beginning of this video I showed you with the head so let's implement this in a character so let's move to the beginning and let's um, just remove that and then let's use this character now here I've got a character and if I press play he just moves um, linear it, it just doesn't look right okay so what you want to do is you want his head to move like that with 
with a small little arc. Okay, so let's quickly do that. So let's go to his face. We click there. And then let's say in the middle, when he's about there, we can just move his head a little bit downwards. Okay, so if we press play, you can see that looks a little bit better. It has that movement to it. But now you can implement that to other areas of his body as well. So let's use his upper uh, torso, his upper body. And let's ha add a little arc to that as well. Okay, so we click on th this and we want, let's say, this. Okay, so right is going to move from there to there but in the middle let's move him a little bit down okay so if we press play now that looks so much better it really adds a lot of um, character to this animation uh, you can just see it looks like a um, like a cartoon character that moves it is not linear but there's an arc that you add to it so you want the body movements to have a little bit of an arc um, so basically guys that is the seventh principle of animation arc it is a real short video and there's nothing really much to explain here but I hope this will help you as you can see by just adding the arc principle to the head movement and to his upper body it made a massive massive difference to this movement of my character so as you can see in, um, by implementing this to your animations you can really improve your animations drastically so guys that is it for this video I hope you've enjoyed it feel free to click on that like button and remember to click on that subscribe button and also on that notification bell so that you can get notified every week when I upload a new video so from me I will see you guys next week in another video and from me God bless goodbye